yeah, the police are turning us round. Oh, wow, yeah. Just saw it down the road there. That's a big one and it's gone into the road. <laughs> Welcome to Gandia Beach. Here we are. What a lovely day as well. I know, it's beautiful. And this beach is stunning. Isn't it, Jess? Look yeah, it. it's a real beauty. Flat, palm trees, blue sea. Yeah, really, really gorgeous. Mm. It's a huge beach. Apparently it, it goes for quite a long way. So I think today's plan is to walk as far along as we can. And uh, in fact, I think the marina's behind us. Maybe we'll go that way first. Yeah. It's quite windy, but uh, windy. to be honest, that's not bad, is it really? Considering it wasn't windy, it'd be very, very hot today. It is, yeah. it is hot today, isn't it? Well, it's warm, but the wind is good for us and the girls. Yeah. So we don't mind that. Right, so shall we uh, walk along and uh, head towards the marina, see what that looks like? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, without a shadow of a doubt, Gandia Beach, the most stunning we've seen in Spain. Isn't it? It's, it's so gorgeous. Cool. Absolutely gorgeous. If you came to the restaurant and it's got a menu del dia. Yeah, it's a restaurant Mediterraneo. Yep. Down by the marina. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's got the favourite bit, isn't it? Menu del dia. 1490 person. I have chosen Paella Valenciana and Emperador. A la plancha. Don't know what that is. Know what the paella is, obviously, but I don't know what speciality it is. Yeah. And you pick. I've gone for the ensalada mixed with con queso, which That's... is cheese salad. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. a bit of cheese. And uh, the other one was the solomillo a la plancha. So we don't really know what that is either. So we both really took a. Yeah. So we have. Well, we're just going to see what comes, don't we? We well, haven't got a clue what either of those things are. To be fair, there's a, there's a huge menu. Yeah, we decided to risk it. We could have Google translated that and we decided not to. Uh, yeah, well, last time you did something like that in France, you had... Ah, um, ha! Well. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not for you. Paella? Gracias. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Gracias. Oh. That looks good. Thank you. 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 you. Thank 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 I've got the paella, which looks good, <laughs> and you've got a cheese salad. I have the salad. You do. It looks, looks good. Uh, got oh yep, some nice, some, some extra virgin some olive oil. Some oil, yeah, and uh, we'll see what mine's like. It's the main course that's going to be the challenge. Mm. Mm. That is lovely. Okay, it's arrived. Uh, it's landed. I think Red has has halted steak and chips. <laughs> steak yeah. and chips, and I think that is. A sword. And I have ordered. Wow, that was lucky, wasn't it? Mind you, I would have eaten anything really, to be honest, as long as it doesn't say cheese on it, and none of it has cheese. It's a fish. <laughs> it's fish. So yeah, it looks great. Bargain. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Let's try. Precious. Precious. Mm. What is it? Really? Tasty. Mm. Not for me. Right. Banging. Mm. Fish. I'm going to ask you. There's a couple just behind us there. And they've ordered some of the. Um, remember when we were in Denia? I ordered. What were they? They were in sardines with it, anchovies. And they came as great big grilled whole fish. And I ate them. <laughs> I just popped them in and that was it. 
Uh, I didn't know. No. They're taking the heads and tails off. Did yeah. I eat them wrong? Because I just posted the whole thing in. So um, I'm just wondering if I <clears throat> ate them wrong and you're meant to pull the head off and then pull the tail off. But to be fair, no harm done and they were tasty, so... Yeah, but at the time, didn't I? No bum holes and eyes. So, I'm sure someone out there is going to know the answer to this. Did I eat them wrong? Because I was just eating the whole thing. And it was fine. But uh, they're Spanish, they're behind us, and uh, they're pulling the heads and tails off. Maybe I should go over and ask for the heads and tails. <laughs> right, let's try this. Well, 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 what have we got here? Let's try this. <laughs> is that really fish? It's like chicken. Honestly, I swear to you, that is like chicken. So it's not fishy fish? No, try that. Honestly, that is like chicken. What did you think? Did you think that was... Uh... <laughs> it's not, well, obviously it's not, it's not fishy. Chicken, but... Yeah, it's not overly fishy. Is it? well, it's not fishy at all. No. It's like chewing up with uh, No. There is no fishy taste to that whatsoever. If you don't like fish. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. If you don't like fish, you will really like this emperor fish. Oh, there go the tables and chairs. It's off the freaking time. It's windy. But uh, yeah. This is... It's a weapon up, isn't it? Mm. So, to answer the question, did I like what I chose? <laughs> um, it was nice, it was cooked nicely, it, it was fine. Um, when I have fish, I like it to taste a bit more of fish, but um, yeah, it was, it was good, it was mm. good. Did you like yours? Um, it's gone. Very nice. He liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's definitely a fish for people who don't overly love fish. Some of you experts will know what I've just had and what it's meant to taste like. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, it, yeah, lovely. Enjoyed it. But uh, still eating it. But, um, it's quite an ugly fish as well, though, isn't it? It's ugly now that I've done that to it. <laughs> well, it's probably quite a, a healthy month all around, really. Yeah. Sure. Won't be in a minute when I go for my coffee and churros just down the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not coming. I'm getting coffee here as well. Right? Oh no, it's all hot chocolate and churros. There we are. That was an absolutely lovely lunch. It was really nice. And yeah. It's rounded off, included in the price of fourteen ninety nine euros. With a coffee. Two coffees. Yeah. <laughs> Two Americanos. Yeah. Uh, it was great. I think it's always a good thing to come to a local restaurant, and this is definitely not um, geared towards your average tourists. No. Uh, because it's very, very Spanish. A little bit windy. <laughs> There's a bit of wind going yeah. around. Yeah. So we really, really enjoyed that. Uh, we're just saying that of all the countries we've visited, Spanish cuisine is the tops for us. It's our absolute favourite. Yes. I'd say that was probably one of the more healthier lunches we've had for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I salad. Mm, and Gandia Beach is it's a beautiful place. It's really long, so we've got a long walk. Um, but you just, want to build up some space for your churros, don't you? I think I do, yeah. I think I do. Um, <laughs> but we're sat exactly opposite the marina. There's some very fancy yachts just to the side of us. So we'll go and have a look at those next, won't we? Mm -hmm. but, dream, uh, dream about what we could have. Oh, I know. Well, we could, couldn't we? Our vast fortunes. <laughs> so uh, drink the coffee and uh, pay the bill and away we go. We're walking along here and while we were sitting in the restaurant we could see there was a big fire burning. Now we got a little bit worried because we were thinking that's the direction the van's parked in. Um, 
although Fireman Red is, assures me a van would be much blacker than that. Uh, but we're, we're heading back anyway and we'll sort of work out where it's coming from. But yeah, looks like there's a pretty nasty fire down at the beach in Gandia. It's, um, I mean, the smoke's going all the way that way towards the harbour. But yeah, it's not good, is it? No, we're heading back just to have a look, but it doesn't look the colour of a vehicle fire. And it's been burning quite some time, so... Yeah. Because if it was a, a motorhome, I've seen them before, and they don't burn for very long. They burn quick, but not very long. But that I mean, is... Look at, look at that. That's getting worse. That looks more like a building. A building? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. And it's a windy day as well, so it's oh, going to be a bugger. Yeah. That is just billowing now, isn't it? That's bad. That is really bad. We can up a speed a bit now, aren't we? <laughs> Bit of speed, you can hear the sirens, but the downside with this is the bloody wind. It's going to just push that fire beyond where it started. Yeah. No. And the skies here, which were blue, are now getting very dark. Yes. Yeah, we can hear a lot of sirens now. Yeah. A lot. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. Do you know what that is coming from the direction of the car park though? Um, yeah, but there is a building site there as well. I mean, I'm kind of going along <clears> here <throat> thinking, oh, it's coming in the direction of the car park. Hope it's not that. Yeah, but the closer we're getting. <sighs> the closer we're getting, the closer we can see it's coming from the direction of where yeah. we've parked. And that is quite a big fire. Well, I think whatever we do now, we need to go back to the van and move it because we're a bit close to whatever that is and it'll get all smoky. Yeah. Sounds like that is. Yeah, I think so. It, whatever it is, it's coming this way, so it's just pushing whatever cloud of toxins and so forth this way. That's it. it is absolutely filling up the sky, isn't it? Yeah. All sirens as well. But van way. would definitely be blacker than this, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? If it was the van. It would have been gone by now. Right, okay. They go very quickly. They go with a bang as well. Okay, well we haven't heard a bang, have we? No. <laughs> There's no... Right, what you missed there was us walking alongside uh, the front. It is getting windier and windier. Yeah. And uh, the wind took both of our hats, so Redders has just had to chase them along the beach. Anyway, hats back on heads, and we're going to carry on. Um, just to let you know, we've walked past the area that was where our van's parked, it's all good there. Yeah, so, really. Uh, but it looks like it's still there. So we're going to carry on and walk up and see what's going on up there because this wind is certainly not going to help things. No. I've been sat here watching the fire whilst you've been in the shop. Yeah, I've just um, been in the Alahot. I've seen a couple of um, aerial support planes, the ones that can scoop water and drop it. And the smoke is starting to come up this way now. And it's definitely a wildfire. It smells like bracken, trees, that sort of stuff and so on. So, yeah, unfortunately it looks like it's... Wildfire season already in Spain. Well, they've been saying, haven't they, that it's dry, they need the water and so on. It is, on. it's so very dry. It's tinder dry, so that would be my guess, that that is some form of scrub wasteland fire. Yeah. It looked a lot closer from up there, didn't it? It did. Um, but I think the smoke has been travelling, but once you see the aircraft in the sky, you know that... Yeah, they're going out to pick up water and drop it on the fire. Mm. So uh, uh, yeah, now we can smell it with our health. It's yeah, not worth so both here of us have asthma. Yeah, mm. both of us have asthma, don't we? So I think it's time to turn around. I've just been in the alley hop. Now everyone knows in Spain what the alley hops are because they are on literally every street corner in Spain. Um, yeah, there's another one identical just down the road. Um, but yeah, they do lots of great stuff. So um, a little bit like Tiger in the UK, but better and cheaper. Uh, some quite funky stuff in there. Yeah, did you buy that? So we're on our way back and yeah, this does look like it is a big fire, but we can actually see the aircraft dropping the water, which is quite fascinating. Uh, they're obviously going out to sea, sea and scooping it up maybe? Yep. Although it seemed to be coming over the mountains, so... Ooh! There, you can see the plane just there, and it's heading back to the mountains. Look ahead. 
Now we have to go this way because this is the way home for us. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to shut some windows in a minute. Across the road. Oh right, yeah, the police are turning us round. So that's uh, that's over. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, so not going that way. Oh yeah. oh wow, yeah. Just saw it down the road there. That's a big one, and it's gone into the road. now we've got to find another way home yep so we're heading back now um well we say we're heading back it's a bit of a diversion for the right reasons they've shut the main road back yeah so we are going to have to navigate through the back road which can be a bit narrow over here can they yeah i think do you know what though i think this is actually a really good um demonstration of uh, the pressures that Spain's under at the moment with their drought, um, the weather, this hot weather they've been having. Also I think it's an actually a really good um, way of showing that you take the wrong turn in Spain and a wildfire starts you can get yourself trapped quite easily. Uh, had we gone down that road we could have ended up going down a burning road. Yeah well luckily the police have shut it down now yeah hopefully the planes will get it under control but uh yeah, they're well. clearly well you can imagine trying to work in this weather mountain. yeah so mm. why would they be going into the mountains to get water rather than the sea because the water in the mountains there isn't going to be any boats people jet skis shipping lanes they've probably got just a access to a water source that is free and easy. Sausage, I win. Oh, <coughs> sausage! Yeah, they yeah. have access to water mm. where they're not anywhere near shipping trawlers, people, and so forth. Right, I see. Uh, but a lot of the lakes and reservoirs are quite empty at the moment, so. Uh, they are, as we've seen yesterday. Yeah. Are we going to call this global warming? That's a bit political, isn't it? I don't think we're even going to go anywhere near that subject. So we hope you enjoyed the vlog about the beach and the trip and so forth. And you, you don't realise that, you know, fire can do as much damage as it can so quickly. Yeah. It was a bit frightening, that, wasn't it? Um, it was very frightening watching it jump across the road like that. Yeah. Uh, it, it just seemed to grow and move very, very fast, which made me think that you've got to be quite careful, especially... Well, any time of the year now, I suppose. I just didn't expect to see a wildfire this time of year. Yeah, I mean, this time of year, as, as we've said, it's tinder dry out here. Mm. They are praying for rain, bless them all. But It's another uh, hot day today yeah. as well. And, you know, the response to the fire was pretty quick, fair play to them. And mm. they had planes in the sky scooping water as well, which is an absolute godsend in this climate, I'm sure. Uh, but, you know, it, it worse, we got turned around and went home a different direction. So mm -hmm. I just hope that... Nobody was injured. It does move fast and, you know, fair, fair play. They got everything sorted as quick as they could to get us out the area. Yeah, quite sh quite shocking. I think um, there's going to be a lot in the news in the upcoming months, I think, about this drought in Spain. And it is really... We have had a little bit of rain while we've been here, but yeah. it's been nothing. Well, we had seen evidence of wildfires on the way uh, yeah. through, hadn't we? Mm. But then you actually see one like that, and, you know... I've seen them previously in my job in, in the UK, but certainly over here, it's flat, it was windy, and the speed of that fire, you couldn't outrun it. It was just no. absolutely So crazy. perhaps something to be aware of, that if you are wild camping in Spain, um, and it's hot and it's dry like this, just keep in the back of your mind, that is something that could happen and it can spring on you out of nowhere. Yeah, you know, pick, pick your spots carefully and considerately. Yeah. And, uh, you know. There we go, that's quite serious, isn't it? We've been a bit serious mm. there, but it yeah. was um, something we didn't expect to see. Well, it was something, you, you know, you, you don't expect to see. No, and of course, it's... initially, we were just a little bit worried that well, we thought it, it seemed <laughs> to be coming from the van, but I think both of us knew that if a van on fire would be thick black smoke. It would be slightly different. But and you, you worry, yeah. don't you? Well, of course you do. So we, we walked back to the van to see what was going on and 
fortunately that was okay and you know the fire's out now obviously mm. it's it's clear blue around here but I guess you know it's just something to be mindful of. Yeah as you can see we're still in camping Escalada. Um, this has been a completely different way of doing things for oh. us hasn't it in that we have found a base that we think is a good price and we've used it to just travel to all the different places we you know we're going to show you. Mm. Um, worked quite well. I've, I've yeah. quite enjoyed it because we haven't had to think about water, batteries, any of those things. And I mean, some of the, you know, we do enjoy it the other way as well, but this has been very, uh, it just takes a few extra thoughts out of your head. Yeah, it's very... And you very, can relax a little bit more, I think. It's very relaxing and the places we've gone to, the beach um, and uh, the, the Oliva. Oliva, the well, beach, well, the old town. It's, it's all within seven or eight miles so yeah it does mean you've got to move your, your your van but again we just leave everything on the pitch and drive off it's a lovely oh, secure yeah. it site feels here. very, safe. very uh, safe plenty of other people around and, and so on and uh, you know the, the pitch we're on there's water over there so you're not going to run out of fresh water there's a mm. drain down there and and the waste you know i did a lovely guided tour for you so i'm not gonna go over <laughs> go over all that again yeah uh, but this really is value for money. Palm trees, bamboos, sunshine. Great. Here we go. Can we say hello to everybody? Are you? Doll's enjoying her holiday as you can see. No, <laughs> she doesn't want, she just wants cuddles. Uh, <laughs> no, she's been feeling much better lately. Um, we had an issue with the wound again, didn't we? Uh, yeah, it's, it opened it's slightly up slightly. Opened up I think, again, isn't yeah, it? I think there might have been a little pocket of infection in yeah. there, which could, even though it looked fine, um, it opened up. She opened it up during the night the other day, only a tiny amount, nothing much. But we do wonder if there's obviously infection in there. It looks cleaned out now. It's been iodined again. Um, yeah. I think it was an infected stitch hole, but I'm wondering if that could have been the cause of her bad tummy. Quite possibly. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, she's she's back to normal now. Where uh, a poo bag is able to scoop. Um, <laughs> let's say no more than Dolly, that. What's he saying? <laughs> it, it's a scoop, not a wash down anymore. Mm. Yeah, so I think we're back to it. One thing I did want to mention, it was um, something, um, someone got in touch with us, I think her name was Nicola, um, a few weeks back, and she was mentioning that dog attacks on the beach out of the blue, um, when dogs could have been caused by the ball. Now, Dogs love Dolly. Dolly's never had a problem with any dog at all, whereas Pippa's the other way. She's a bit too forward and they do <laughs> growl at her a bit. Yeah, she's rather rude. But um, Dolly had a ball, and apparently when a dog has a ball, uh, the dog lets off cortisone, which excites other dogs. Now, it was a windy day, um, and she just, she just basically said the issue of the out-of-the-blue attack could have been actually based around the ball. So, to be honest... Um, it does sound plausible to me, so um, we're just we're just going to be careful going forward yeah. because it seemed completely random and what on earth happened? Well, the dog just turned. Um, the dog turned. It's inexcusable and 100% down to the owners. Yeah, I mean Dolly was just walking along carrying her ball, but uh, yeah. she loves her ball. Doesn't she? she does. Are you bored? Sorry, She's dog. Bored. She's bored. And check out these videos. We've had a couple sent in of doggies watching a doggy watching doggies. So Shelley sent us in a video of this is Alfie. Check us out. And Kim sent us in a video of her two girls, Callie and Lily, watching Woolly watching Dolly and Pippa. Crazy. We've got a lot of requests to do a vlog on pet passports and animal health certificates. Mm -hmm. So we will get round to that very soon. Yep. And on, on the back of that, congrats to Dave on getting his pet passport in Bruges. Yeah, he's only six months old, so he's got many, many yeah. years of travel ahead of him. Well done, Dave. Dave the dog. Dave Love dog. it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Right. Or if he's from Wales, it'll be Die the dog. Just to round it up again, it's... You know, a big thank you for, for watching, subscribing and all your comments. Mm. 
keep the questions and answers coming. We do enjoy reading them. Yeah. We will see you again on Tuesday. Yes, goodbye. Bye.